You know, it's not a joke. It's like... Come on, man. Welcome to another video. If this is the first time you guys are watching our video, this is the garage, and practical garage. We got a few cars here, Turbo MX-5. Not allowed to know what's under that. Yeah, look at that turbo right there. Bam! That's not our build, but it's a friend of ours. If you've been watching the other videos, you're probably wondering if we got our uh, what? So come over here. Did you get this? See that? That's the old motherfucking one. We failed the off. Um, the guy we usually go to, uh, he wasn't there. So we're like, yo, let's, let's try these other boys anyways. And they failed us for the exhaust, not the turbo, but the exhaust, so, which is a bit weird. Freedom's gonna um, try uh, silence the exhaust a bit, and then we'll go see our boy again and see if we can get our waft. So right now she's illegal to be on the road. Uh, the turbo's off right now because there's a leak in the turbo housing. What is it? Where's the leak, Freedom? Um, flange, uh, in that flange or five volt out there. I don't, know, I don't know if they'll hear that, but... Um, anyway, there's yeah, a leak. Well, there's our boost leak there. We were making 10 PSI last time we were driving it. So hopefully we can find this leak and then we go for a drive later we make 10 PSI and gate. So um, we've run into a problem. We've uh, lost one of the bolts and we're scared that it's gone to the manifold there. <laughs> um, yeah, so we don't know. We've, Jacob's looking for it right now. They're peeping. We've got this little thing here that uh, picks it. It's like magnetic and it'll like, pick it up if we find it. I can't seem to see it anywhere. I've already looked hard. I've already shoved it down on these holes, so... Anyways, let's go see what Brennan's doing. <laughs> what you doing there, mate? I'm uh, just making a new gasket. So, on the turbo, it was either leaking from here, the inlet flange, or here, the outlet flange. On this turbo in particular, it has a wastegate port here. So if it was leaking out of here, then that would have explained the 6 PSI. And if it was leaking out of here, it would have explained the 6 PSI. Mm. Not so much from the downpipe, but we'll see. So I'm just cutting up a new one now, and then I'll drill the holes, put it on. Uh, I've got a new gasket for this as well. We'll put that on, and we'll bolt it all together. And you got a new haircut? Yeah, yeah. Fuck me up real good. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get the guy that did it, man. Hi, yep. Yep. Ah! <laughs> it's working out, that one. I need a clamp. No, not in there. What, have you got clamps? Yeah. You're gonna clamp it to the wood. Just being a retard. <laughs> Keep it. He's rubbing it in now. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's better, Hallie. You know what I forgot? The hole. The <laughs> hole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah? You can do it later. A little bit off. What are you trying to do? <laughs> what are you trying to do? <laughs> Where's it going? Gains, gains, gains. What do you need the wood for? Use some of can use this wood. <laughs> what was that for? Uh, Why? That look. <laughs> Where is it? Oh. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Safety. Real nice. Safety. What are you doing? Hey. <laughs> 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 what are you making, though? Explain. Uh, did you get this specifically for a smash gun? Or you just no, no, I just got a piece of metal. So we're just going to turn this random piece of uh, sheet metal that we found into a splash guard. This brilliant splash guard is broken. Uh, give it a quick cut and then a quick file. No. Screw it in. Go bang, bang, bang. Go bang. bang. She's in. What? I've seen people use road signs under their cars. Yeah. On Hondas, but they're gay. <laughs> yeah, nah, I've got a Honda, so. Team, I said I'm gay, but. Not that there's anything wrong with it. Oh, yeah, being gay is fun. <laughs> he just dropped another <laughs> Got it! Oh. oh, no, no he, he got a skink. Oh, no, we didn't find the, we didn't find the washer. <laughs> nah, man, sorry. Should we find the nut? That was something. 
I don't have my safety goggles. <laughs> oh, we should say do a video on how. Oh, should we say how much the build cost was? Nah, I'll get the receipts. Up. Yeah, go get the receipts. Have it. So, uh, got all my receipts here. We'll look through it and uh, we'll see how much it all costs, though. So, so, get a calculator. Get my phone. No, nah, no, nah, I don't want to. I don't want to. Okay, do I'll calculate on the screen. Forty-seven dollars for oil. See the just uh, total cost. Three hundred and twenty-five. What's that for? Uh, Turbo Smart Waste Gate. Big one from Repco. Uh, $106 all up. Um, this is all the machine work. Came to $609. Machine work. We got Scalas, uh, $129. Sorry, phone died. Let's go yeah. Carry on, so. Uh, another one from Scalas for 10 PSI spring, uh, 50 bucks. Uh, Repco again, $93. Scalas again Thanks. for the catch can, um, $84. Alright, uh, $72 just for heaps of servicing stuff. Um, Jekta O-ring kit, $28. Uh, heaps of turbo fittings, $145. Alright, uh, um, the turbo flange laser cut, um, $80. Uh, receipt for a bunning snag, $6. That's a good deal. Uh, belt, uh, $15. More belts and a spigot bearing, forty-two dollars. Uh, a bit more machine work, uh, some some hoses, heat sleeves, forty-nine dollars. Uh, another one from Repco for some diff oil, forty-six dollars. Uh, engine specialist to machine the flywheel, uh, three hundred dollars. Uh, more service stuff, eighty-three dollars. Oh, give me that sticker, man. Oh shit, I almost knocked your phone. Hell yeah. Um, some more belts, $75. This is a bit of alley that he's just cutting up at the moment. Uh, $70. Uh, this is the heat sleeve that goes around the turbo drain. It's uh, $10. And um, some more turbo oil feed fittings, $43. Full gasket set, $71. Uh, this is all the bearings, the race bearings, uh, multi-layer head gasket, $430. Getting pricey, getting pricey. From Repco, $105 for the water pump. Uh, V-belt and headset, $561. Uh, oil pump gasket, $23. $39 for some engine oil. Uh, some brake pads and a fuel filter, $91. Pace now. Uh, engine. Uh, ARP head studs, $218. Oh! That was stuck. Uh, oil filter, spark plugs and some oil, $96. Uh, engine specialist to fit the gudgeon pins, $46. Small end bearings and piston ring compressor, $118. Assembly lube, rear main seal, some oil, $102. Man, you got a lot of, a lot of oil with that. Uh, home the cylinder and hot. Hot clean the block, two hundred and seven dollars. Uh, some electrical stuff, some vernier calipers, sixty-eight dollars. And ho hose clamp set, thirty-six. How much was the paint? Uh, Eighteen hundred dollars for the paint. And then these wheels here. Uh, wheels were a thousand. Seats. Uh, seven hundred. Wing was how much? Wing was three hundred. And then adjustables. Adjustables thirteen hundred. Set was like seven hundred. That's this. All the weld work and everything like that was uh, 1800 What about all like your turbo and everything? Did you put that in the yeah, car? Yeah, turbo was 400 Manifold was uh, 700 uh, Radiator was 250 Intercooler was 100 What about your oil cooler? Roll bar was 100 My oh, roll bar? Uh, wing mirrors, $40 <laughs> Add that on Might as well add that uh, Extended top hats, uh, oh, yeah. 100 Oh, what about this? Ten dollars. How much was that? <laughs> we got that car. Was <laughs> kids ran. Hmm. Damn. That's a lot of money. Yeah, eight hundred. Oh yeah, eight hundred for that hard top. Um, all the work and labour I've spent, um, like putting in the adjustables, doing all the um, wheel alignment, probably like seven hundred. Um, camber arms, those are three hundred. Oh, a new diff and drive shaft. That was 900. Uh, flywheel and clutch, which was about 600. 
think that's about it. What did it come to? Almost 19,000. Is that including the price of the car? Yeah. yeah, so that costs a lot to build a car like this. Well, I've had it over like three years now, so it's all costs over that time. Yeah. So heaps of it's like maintenance costs, like servicing, tyres, stuff like that, but the bulk of it's probably at least 10 grand. You know what you should have purchased? This. No. No. You know what he should have purchased? What a prelude. No, 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 no. Something not gay. Oh! Toyota. <laughs> it was all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazine. Salt and pepper and heavy D up in the limousine. Hanging pictures on my wall. Every Saturday, rap attack, Mr. Magic Molly Mall. I let my tape rock.